Hello everyone, my name is Amy. Welcome back to Octopath Traveler 2. We are finally on our final Sacred Flame out of four. So we just have this one in Felsun Ruins to take care of. We've taken care of the other three all around the world. So we're just about done. And I cannot wait to see who else is going to betray us from our former crew of companions. That'll be fun. I am still not over... What we learned about Kazan, or I suppose Obero is his real name. Ah, uh, oh joy! Oh, we should save. We haven't done anything, but we should save. Oh, also, um, I did change my team around just a little bit. I'm gonna move Ochet down. Uh, Kasti's the same. Throne, I moved her onto the team and she is also an inventor. Um, Ochet is currently a warrior. And I have Oswald as a merchant. You know, just in case, just in case. I will say when people end up being merchants on my team, I end up paying my way out of things and relying less on strategy. But hey, that's a strategy in and of itself. Maybe. What to do? What to do? Um well, in this case, perhaps we should just hit him. Mm-hmm. This Jeez, no cure for my level 70 baby is so, so strong. She's come such a long way. She really has. Also, we're off to the Felsun Ruins, uh, which I often get confused with. What is that place called? Dusk Ruin? Yes, Dusk Ruin Shrine. Too many ruins. Because for a second I thought, oh, that must be where we defeated Harvey. Like nope, wrong place. Well, now. All right. The nice thing is that right now in the epilogue, we seem to be running into a lot of creatures that understandably are weak to light. So, makes Ready? things slightly easy. Okay, slightly easier, I should say. Not easy. <laughs> um, I don't know what to give you. Oh, you know, inventor skill. We'll just go ahead and... Where's, where's that? This, this thing. Ready for a surprise. Oh! Let's go. What's with the dual attack? Huh? Tony just attacked twice, and I don't know why. <gasps> no. Hmm. No clue. Absolutely no clue. I didn't boost her either. Very interesting. Alright, so we don't have staff on this lovely lady, so I think. Oh, I do have it on this one. On, yeah. Haven't really changed my um creature collection for either. So for now, I think we'll be okay. I am going to actually lightning bolt this Strike thing. Them, That's pretty good. I've seen worse methods. I also have to work on getting some of these folks' damage higher. Because there are a few people who are able to break 9,999, but not the entire team yet. So they're slacking a bit. I don't think there's going to be anything in these houses, but it might be worth checking because let's play. Things have changed around here. here. I, go. I have a talent for making do. Naughty deeds medicine. Of course, Ready? you're beefy. Um. Let's see. Oh, you're weak to a lot of elements. Well, yeah, it's one time. Ready for a surprise? Huh? 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 Wait, I'm sorry. What's happening? Wait, wait. That was like four shields. Wait. Okay, I need to look into her substats because I, I, I don't know that that's normal. Question mark. And I, I don't see anything in here. Um, maybe I should check what weapons I gave her too. That might be slightly worth it, I think. Yeah, bring out my whale. It's interesting, that's for sure. I need a plan. Strike them down. You're finished. Hmm. I've seen worse methods. I'm gonna check the houses. Yeah, okay, nothing here. Let me... Let me check the equipment first, because that's easy. Raise physicals... Physical attack, okay. Sleep... Okay. I don't have anything funky on her. 
Yeah, but that shouldn't do anything. Oh, speaking of. Okay, most people have... I need to give, um... Maybe I'll give Oswald... Do I have anything for darkness? I think somebody else has got it. Ah, Dagnia. All right, Agnia, can you come back into the team real quick? I need to take something off of you. All right. Oh, you know, I really don't pay attention to this lovely little bar, do I? No, I really don't. Okay, take this off. And then you need to equip a dark amulet. Yes. Okay, come back to my team. That was a mistake. All right, perfect. And I wanted to see what support skills Throne had. Non-damaging skill. That's an attack though, not... It gets to attack twice. This is not it either. That is bizarre. I don't know if it's something maybe they've cast on me that's doing it. Very interesting. I won't... I won't be upset at it. That was very helpful. The hunt is on. What to do? Okay, I didn't notice anything I... pop up. Anything weird pop up at least. This was... No. <laughs> Strike them down. Cleaning. Time. All right. We'll see if it does anything. Ready for a surprise? Prepare this okay, this is Perfect, weird. And I don't know why it's happening. If I could figure it out, then maybe we could, you know... Untamable, yeah. Um, maybe we could use it, but... Nope. So much damage. Oh boy. Journal fragment. I did it, diary. I finally got No! <laughs> no! I ran ahead with my eyeballs. No! Oh my god, you're joking. Why does this always happen? I was joking about the betrayal. It's not really betrayal, but it kind of is because you're trying to collapse my whole world. And by my, I mean like these eight people I consider my family at this point. What is going on? Hi. Oh, yeah. I finally got hired as a scrivener. And for the Delsta Times, too. All the world's information flows through a newspaper, a river of facts alongside a paper water wheel. An endless procession of scoop, scoop, scoop. As a journalist, I'll dash about the world investigating, uncovering, and breaking news. What better way for me to carry out my mission? I've thought about this a lot, and everyone has some fact they're hiding. Vast sums of knowledge locked in noggins the world over. But how to crack open these repositories and acquire those tasty secrets within? That's the rub, of course. As I am now, I doubt I, that I have the de dexterity to pick any of those cranial locks. It was raised in isolation, always out of the loop, hiding quietly on the outskirts of society. There's a positive way to spin that, though. I have spent all that time I wasn't talking to people, observing them. Here's what I've learned. People let their guard down around cute little animals. A scowling guard captain will play cuddly coo with an adorable puppy and soon confess all his gripes to the precious thing. And so, I will become the puppy. I'll wag my little doggy tail, act the part of the friendly, little non-threatening furball, and slide right into people's confidences. My brother may be the soaring eagle with his bird's eye view. Wait. This cannot be the brother, I think. No. But I'll be a sharp-eyed hound, keeping my nose to the ground and sniffing out every last detail I can find. This cannot be Oboro. Can it? What is wrong with this game? Hey, the writers who wrote this game? Hey, hey, hey. Can we make- can we talk? Can we talk? What is this? And of course we have to save. Okay, just for funsies, because I don't know if we're actually going to run into her. 
I think it might be worth it, potentially. If we moved Particio into the team, I know it's a bit of a weird turn. Um, and maybe I'll take Throne out. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Throne out and I will put Particio in. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try it just in case, you know, we run into something interesting where like there's unique dialogue. I don't think there would be, but Again, just in case. Um, yeah, I'll I'll keep what he's got on him. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? We'll give him inventor. Yes. Uh, Cause I don't think he's got anything else that's like super good. Oh, I gave him scholar. Interesting. Interesting choice. Oh, also dancer. Dancer would actually be really fun. Maybe we do dancer? And then, for Oswald, I'll give him Inventor. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, and then I just want to make sure everybody's learned everything. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna leave his skills the way that they are. I think they'll be fine, for the most part. Okay, you need a knife. We'll give you... Accuracy, maybe? Tonfa? Just straight up damage might be good. Okay. Oswald needs... Does that, did, wait, does anybody on the team have a... Oh yeah, we've got a lot of sword users. Okay. So the only staff user right now... Oh, there are two of them. Never mind. We're good. Um, okay. Oswald needs a sword. Raise the targets at... No! Okay. Uh, we'll do evasion, maybe? There's Bane. Hmm. Some chance to reduce targets. Yeah. Ooh, confuse target. I don't want the speed, though. I will say, the speed would be very nice. All right. I think the team looks good now. Um, I'm just gonna give some items to, you know, heal up their SP a little bit. Oh boy. I think Oswald will be fine for now. Alright. And then we'll save again. And then we'll be on our merry little way for another... Another... Girl scrap, probably. Here goes. Oh boy. Oh. Are you first interesting, Particio? <laughs> My turn. I extend a helping hand. Naughty deeds and bitter medicine. Oh, y'all are stubborn. Okay. Understood. Jeez. I don't think there's any place we can go from here, so let's just... Oh my god! My oldest memory is crimson. A spray of bright red droplets and a harrowing scream. Harrowing? Yes. A crowd fleeing in all directions and enemy soldiers mercilessly cutting down innocents. Some of them even laughed as they did it. Amidst this, I was a stone. Still in my tender years, I neither cried nor wept nor cowered merely watch the chaos unfold. Being raised in a war-torn land does things to an impressionable mind, and I suppose something had already broken inside me. I would have died that day, cut down like the rest, were it not for my brother. His cunning carved a path for us out of that hellish place. My brother is brilliant, so much so that the enemy king spared him if he would serve. Yet despite his genius, despite how shrewd the plans he proposed were in their attempts to avoid bloodshed, Blood always flowed. Interesting. So he created plans that would lead to like the path of least destruction. And I wonder if it's because the sword was inherited. I wonder if Mugen got the sword from Jigo. He must have, right? 
And so just having that sword, it corrupts you slowly and surely. Despite who Hikari's mother was. Um, interesting. Humans steal, they kill, they take and they take and they take. Lives, possessions, land. It's the state of our nature. A simple fact of our existence. My brother and I have seen so much together, and we've both reached the same conclusion. The world doesn't deserve to see another dawn. The life of man is nasty, brutish, and ugly. Why not make it short? Hmm. Despite everything that- that's the thing that bothers me. Is that, like... She's seen everything that Particio stood for and, like, stood by him while he was on his little adventure. And despite that, it wasn't enough to change their minds. It wasn't enough for Kazan to see what Hikari wanted to do. Because I guess they were always afraid that, in the end, humans would always go back to the base existence of stealing, taking, and killing. I don't know. I'm making up things. Oh my god. I need her on our side, and I need you to convince her that's a good idea. What? My brother's face was flushed as he handed me the letter addressed to Raime. Perhaps he'd been in his cups. I didn't need to ask him why he would be celebrating. The fundraising in Montwise was going swimmingly. Hmm... I need her on our side, I need you to convince her that's a good idea. On my way home, I spotted Hikari. He's the key to everything in Ku, and if our machinations go according to plan, my brother will get what he's after. I doubt Hikari has a clue who I am. Uh, another tactic proposed by Brother Dearest. No prior familiarity with me will help move things along down the line. Though Hikari doesn't know anything about me, I certainly know a lot about him. Hikari has another side to him, a second personality that my brother says was born from his family's cursed lineage. Somewhere in the past, Clan Ku's blood mingled with that of the famous archmage Darkest, <gasps> sparking a history of war and sacrifice, a more odious bloodline I do not know. As I passed Hikari in the street, for a moment I felt as if our eyes met. His gaze was steady and true, just as it was when he was a boy. How had that bright spark in his eyes not dimmed over time? He had seen the same horrors I had. He had been through the same terrible war. Oh! So all this bloodlust started from... Darkest. Oh... But his- his mother was different. She was able to, like, calm that. This is bad. Hikari was captured before I had the chance to deliver my brother's letter to Rai Mei. If Hikari is killed, it'll ruin everything and we'll have to start over from scratch. Clan Mei calls the Fortress of Stormhale its home. Oldest place in Celestia, and I hate it. Time is of the essence, yet this frigid blizzard is battering me about like a leaf in the wind. If only I could take two steps without being blown three back. I wonder who who's responsible for that blizzard in 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 a certain way. One of your your com your compatriots is that the word? Yes. By the time I finally reached Stormhale, Hikari had already been released. I can only assume he managed to sway Rai Mei on his own. I handed my overdue missive to one of Rai Mei's retainers and quickly put that chilly place behind me. Oswald is sentenced to life imprisonment. What is going on here? Oh my god. It took me a moment to process the judge's verdict. I blinked, doubting my ears. What was going on here? He was supposed to be executed. Wasn't he? I ran as fast as I could to find Harvey. <gasps> I should have known that swine had stuffed leaves into the judge's pocket to bribe him into that decision. Why? I want to see the power. I want him to see the power of my perfected magic. That's his reason, the blighted fool. Pride. Worthless pride. We need the Book of Demons complete. 
What if Oswald somehow finds a way to interfere? When I gave my report to my brother, he simply said, just watch the spectacle unfold. Apparently, my brother had already taken Harvey's massive ego into account when he made his contract with the man. If that's the case, then I suppose this isn't a problem after all. Regardless, I should hurry and gather what information I can about Frigid Isle. I don't- why? Like, two innocent people died. I mean, unless they already knew. They probably knew. Yeah, okay. Okay, Oboro probably told Harvey about Oswald's wife and her identity and the blood that flowed within her. That's probably why they were like, ah, it's fine if they die. But also, for people who, who feel like tomorrow should not come because of the blood that's just been spread across the land, y'all sure do a lot of killing on your own. Y'all aren't exactly pure. Like, what? I... Uh, it bothers me so much. It really does. And the fact that these these seemingly side characters were witness to all of these important events and that they they kind of oh my gosh like they wanted Harvey uh, not Harvey they wanted Oswald to die or maybe that was a standard punishment for someone who would you know they in their view killed his his wife and child was it six I think so I concealed myself among the chattering students and slipped into Harvey's lecture book of demons is nearly complete so he was in in a jovial mood when I saw my chance, I gave Harvey the news. Oswald had tried to escape Frigid Isle and died in the attempt. I thought the news would throw his high spirits off a cliff, but instead, he just started giggling. It was creepy. When he finally settled down, he merely said, I need to prepare for my guest's arrival, and vanished back to his laboratory, humming cheerfully all the while. It's like he thinks Oswald is alive. Is Oswald alive? It can't be. And yet, if so, then he will come here to find Harvey and seek his vengeance. Wait, this could be perfect. I doubt Harvey will honor our agreement and hand over the Book of Demons without a fuss. If I can set those two against each other, it might create the perfect opportunity to slip in and swipe the book. I wonder if my brother had predicted this too. Your brother is doing way too much. Harvey has left for Duskruin Shrine. The remains of Arch Archmage Darkest will provide the final piece that Harvey needs. The Book of Demons will soon be complete. I found a nice cozy place to conceal myself. Sure enough, Oswald showed up. Just as I predicted, or just as predicted, the two fought it out, and I was able to retrieve the Book of Demons in the wake of their battle. There was one surprise, however. Harvey escaped alive. Hmm, what was that bright flash of magic? Wait! Harvey escaped alive? What do you mean? No, he, he was like consumed. Are they talking about when the golem came out and he said it was basically our wife? A glimpse of a force that may dwarf even that of the Book of Demons? That girl, does she have some special power within her? Ready to be In this case, it's really bad that we left... Wanda. We left her all alone. Oh boy. Well, um, welcome to Octopath Traveler 2. Chaos abounds. Okay, what should I do besides cry? Ooh, we'll sleep in Galen. Here's a puff for you. That was pathetic, but that's okay. Keep your expectations low, and then you'll be pleasantly surprised. What is going on? This is not the, the connection I thought it would be. Maybe we'll be slower this thing. Who's got... Oh, Oswald has it. Alright, alright. Um, I kind of wanted to try and see if elemental thingy-majig would do with the same thing to this one? Maybe we should try and see. Come on, then. If they don't die. If they die, then it will be very awkward. Alright, great. Okay, I haven't boosted this. I know your weakness. 
Yeah, it did. What is... Why is it doing every single element? Basically, not really, but like... Nice one, Oswald. What is happening? Hmm... <laughs> okay. Articio seems to be missing a lot, and I feel like I should do something about that. Strike them down. How weak. Study harder. I should check on his accuracy, actually. Um. Equipment, maybe? Alright. Accuracy's down there. Particio is low, but it's not as. I mean, Oswald's pretty much the same. Does he have something that. Yeah, he's got stuff boosting his accuracy. All right, I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be the way that it is. Oh God, Oswald trusted the girl Elena to his assistant before setting off on a journey. Like all Pati's, the blood of the Lumina family runs in Elena's veins. We'll need to continue monitoring her to watch for suspicious signs. Oh, the Lumina family. Oh, okay, okay, so Dark Kest is on one side, and on the other side, there's the Lumina family. Day after day, Elena sits at her desk and pours herself into her studies. A diligent girl, I suppose, but I am curious as to why her brow sometimes wrinkles and she cradles her head in her hands. Still, her eyes are bright and her gaze seemingly set on some happy goal far off in the distance. A marked difference from when I saw her in Harvey's company. There was only worry and fear in her eyes then. My heart nearly leaped, leapt, leapt out of my throat when I heard that assistant's voice suddenly ring out behind me. Can I help you, miss? I immediately turned and tried to distract and dissemble with, disassemble, I can't read, sorry, with my tried and true cover story. Can I interest you in a newspaper subscription? She smiled, then eyes warm, but I sensed a keen suspicion burning deep within those friendly eyes. I will not underestimate her again. No one else has ever noticed me when I didn't want to be found, only to abandon my surveillance. Too risky. Besides, I've seen nothing suspect in all the time I've watched Elena. Might as well move on to more important matters. Mm. I love finding these journal pieces, they're so good. Well, here I am in Kennelbrine. Word is that I can find someone who has the lost pages of the Book of Night's original manuscript. Aldina, captain of the Sacred Guard, seems to be moving as Arconnect, Arconnect predicted and assembling these pages. There is a potential problem, however. A nosy inquisitor named Temenos seems to have caught wind of all this. Arconnect has, uh, has her eye on him, but I can only pray he doesn't make any problems for us. I'll need to be careful not to draw his attention, too. I wonder if... Um... She'll mention talking about, or he will mention talking about, or meeting, meeting Particio. The Book of Night is close to being fully restored. Once it is, I'll need to move quickly to retrieve it and fulfill my mission. Allying myself with Arcanet was merely the easiest means to that end. Yes, okay. My brother did tell me to be wary of her, however. He was quite forceful about it. I wonder why. Uh, because she's incredibly unpredictable? Also, I think she has her own reasons. Kaldina, captain of the Sacred Guard, is driven by a lust for vengeance. To achieve that end, she seeks to make the power of the shadow her own, and with the restored Book of Night in hand, she set out for the Twilight Shrine. Her naive dream of avenging her people will never become reality. Why, you ask, dear diary? Because the right Arcanet taught her is purposely flawed. So there I was, hiding in the shadows of the Twilight Shrine and waiting for the perfect opportunity. Lo and behold, Kaldina's right went awry, and she transformed into a most hideous form. No one told me I'd have to deal with some monster. This is above my pay grade. Luckily, I had no need to fear. That Temenos showed up and handled that the Car uh, Kaldina problem for me. Maybe, like... It's less that she's unpredictable, because she, she's kind of predictable, but like in a terrible, horrible way. Um, but she's a master manipulator. And perhaps Obra only needs one of those around. I suppose Arcanet was behind his well-timed arrival. 
What a puppet master. Bravo. I finally understand why my brother warned me to keep an eye on her. I slipped down to the ritual site after Temnos made his exit and retrieved the Book of Night. We're just leaving things on the ground? Although I don't recall us ever seeing anything. Even like the weapons, they seem to have vanished with the people they corrupted. All that's left is to combine it with the Book of Demons and we'll be able to complete the Dark Blood Grimoire. We have a name for it. Oh gosh, there's so- <gasps> This is where it all happened! This was the first cutscene for Temenos, right? I think the order that I've been doing these flames is really interesting. Completely unintentional, but very interesting. Here I am, grand old Timberane, just in time for the coronation ceremony. Word on the street is that an apothecary named Trousseau is going to rain on the parade with a storm infused with shadow energy. His goal, and I quote, is to extend a hand to save all in need. What a nice notion. Let's rewind the clock. It was one year ago that Trousseau lost hope in the future and started down this path. He was out gathering medicinal herbs when she, when he stumbled into Lost Seed. There, ah, <gasps> he was real far from home. There he met Claude, who gave him the Book of Night. Claude was disappointed with the encounter, it seems. He had swayed Trousseau to his side, but couldn't persuade an apothecary in the man's company. Wait, what? I don't get it. What, what does he think? What does that sentence mean? Okay, he swayed him to his side, but he couldn't persuade an apothecary in the man's company? Oh! <gasps> With a regretful sigh, he told me that this other apothecary's eyes were filled with a motherly strength, deep wells of kindness that belied a sense of fierce determination. What was her name again? Ah yes, Asti. She stopped Trousseau, saw the people of Timberane to safety, and even dealt with the poison rain. As if that wasn't enough, she also managed to mix up medicine that could combat the shadow on the spot. Claude's intuition was right. Kasti is someone to keep an eye on. My brother will need to know that we have another dangerous potential wrench in our plans. Hey, you've got eight of them. Watch out. My good golly gosh. Oh, what number was I on? I think I'm gonna go left. Okay, or we'll fight first. This is so bizarre. Um, since most seem to be affected by... Oh, I have nothing light. We should get someone who does light damage, actually. That would be really, really smart. Ouchies. My turn. That's a lot of debuffs for one person, don't you think? Especially with that duration. Ow! Particio. Not in this economy. Yeah, see? Elemental Bomb Bottle. I'm doing it three times now. Or I'm boosting it, but like it's... I, I don't know that it's supposed to do that. Maybe it's because it's the epilogue. Um... Yeah, you just hit him. It's okay. We can't all be... at our best all the time. You know? It's okay. Here I go. Nice. I know no cure for evil. Oh, she's almost 71. And Ochetta's about to be 60. Alright. I think we're on 12. Sure. I met a merchant today in Clockbank. An honest fellow with laughing eyes named Particio. He's boasted that he'll rustle up 80 billion leaves and buy the rights to the steam engine from its current owner, Mr. Rock. Then I'll give the technology away to everyone. When pressed on why, he said, things like this should be shared with the whole world. Articio uses me. I can borrow that ruthless Rock's words. It is human nature to take from others and give unto oneself. Despite his noble declarations, I'm sure Particio will prove himself no different from the other slime. Greed and self-interest will win out in the end. They always do. Still, I'm vaguely curious as to how his story will play out. I'll follow this Particio, though I'll keep my expectations low. Placing your faith in others only gets you betrayed in the end. Yeah, I would know about betrayal by now, wouldn't I? I sure would. Y'all got room to talk doing the betraying? 
Oh. Wait, no. Am I on the right one? This is 15, though. I'm so out of order, I think. My brother made a deal with Harvey. Craft the Book of Demons, an evil tomb's tome said to be imbued with the magic of Darkest himself. Why, you ask? Well, dear diary, because we need it to restore the lost dark blood grimoire. The rub here is that neither my brilliant brother nor even Claude knows how to make this tome. Thus, the need for Harvey. The one thing my brother does know is that the remains of Darkest are a key component. When I shared that vital tidbit, Harvey smiled. That's all I needed. It sounded like he was already most of the way there. He's a valuable asset, so we'll do everything we can to assist him. Harvey has an unhealthy obsession with a scholar named Oswald. No, let's call it what it is. A severe inferiority complex. Harvey told me he'd gladly give up the dawn if it meant it, he could best the man. We let Harvey read the Book of Night in order to pull him into, us, into our intrigues, but honestly, I think it wasn't necessary. That bottomless well of envy in his gut, properly manipulated, would likely have been motivation enough. Besides, I don't trust him. No normal person can fathom that twisted mind of his. Hold on. I'm trying to find the order. Yeah, we're so out of order. It's okay. I need three, four. Are you one of them? Oh god, this is six. Um, wait, hold on. I don't want to read it yet. Yeah, okay, I can still read it. I want to find them sort of in order, but not really. I think we're, we're beyond that right now. Four, okay. Where's 13? Articio's gone and done it. He has gone and done it. He's humbled rock and actually wrested the rights to the steam engine from that greedy tycoon. Still, that's nothing compared to what he did next. He actually gave it away, just as he said he would. Things like this should be shared with the whole world. He's lived up to that grandiose statement, and then some. The heat of his passion even melted Rock's icy heart, and I didn't think the de desert sun was hot enough to do that. So, taking a step back, what Particio did is impossible, unimaginable, inconceivable. I've observed countless people in my time, and to date, every one of them is motivated by varying degrees to mar varying degrees by self-interest. People are always willing to step on others to achieve their own interests. Particio? Is he truly different? Is he someone who can at, le at last transform this dark, ugly world into something wonderful? What do you think, brother? <sighs> I wonder about that too. So we have... We're missing 13. And I have to read 16. I haven't read it yet. Oh gosh. Life is too precious to risk. They're getting a little tougher, I will say. Mmm. Okay, I'm actually not gonna use that. I'm just gonna use lightning. Strike them down. Do some damage, you know. Here goes. <laughs> No weaknesses? All right. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, unfortunately, no weaknesses. Ah, share SP. Someday that will be useful. You know, I'll just go ahead and... There you go. Here I go. I have a talent for making do. Naughty deed. Nice. Oh, one left. Hmm. Right. Beautiful. I need to double check and see if Particio needs any healing because he keeps getting hit. Ah, he'll be okay, probably. I'm gonna heal him just in case. There we go. Uh, this is seven. Now, is this gonna be... Okay, 13. Great. I can't believe it. How did Particio turn that economic desert of a town into a hopping commercial hub? That business idea of his was inspired. 
I must admit that watching Alron's department store come to life woke something warm in me. I told Particio that the world's filled with people groaning under the weight of a thousand problems. It's fresh ideas like this that bring a ray of joy into troubled lives. For once, I really truly meant what I said. I should never have poured my heart out in public like that. I suppose my declaration was proof that he's cracked my emotional defenses, convinced me to <gasps> believe in him. In my defense, he's really something else. Before I knew it, I was promising to help. Truth is, I'm excited to see what magic he'll pull out of his Particio hat next. Next. Guess what, dear diary? This is the first time I've ever helped someone for something that wasn't directly related to my mission. Let me stop for a moment and also appreciate the fact that he convinced THE Alron to invest 80 billion leaves in him. 80 billion. The question is, will Particio prove to be a man of integrity? Will he really use those leaves to help the world and not just line his own pockets? Just a little bit longer. Only a little bit, mind. I find myself needing to see what he does next. Alright. Uh, I haven't read a few of these. I think... Yeah, six... And then seven. Or sixteen and seventeen. Welcome to my humble castle. That was how he greeted me when I arrived in Lost Sea, before he took me on a casual stroll through that rotting mausoleum of a town. I struggled not to gag on the stench of death and decay, all the while him smiling and breathing deep, as if taking in the airs of a tranquil mountain meadow. This ghastly man's name is Claude, and he is the descendant of the infamous Archmage Darkest. <gasps> so that means... In some way, he's he's distantly related to Hikari. Yes. It is said that his notorious grandfather gave him a taste of the blood of the malevolent, no, malevolent god of darkness, Vide, frighteningly enough while he was still in the womb. As a result, the man is blessed with eternal youth. Vampire. Or at least eternally young. Vampire. A taste of the blood of the male malevolent god of dark- How do you get the blood of a god? Who's your grandfather? Wait, unless- Okay, never mind. I think the grandfather is Darkest. Okay, never mind. That answers my question. I, I won't question if Darkest is like, Yeah, I've got the blood of Vide. Yeah, okay. I believe you, dude. With the blood of Darkest and Vide within his veins, Claude's fate was to become the dark god's vessel. And yet- he rejected this destiny and instead chose to pass that honor on to his offspring. For our part, we don't care who the vessel is, just that we have one. Claude, however, seems to have preferences in the matter. <gasps> oh ho ho ho! So this answers my question as to like who the vessels were in Lost Sea. There was like the pure vessel, there was, you know, all sorts of people. Preferences. That man has sired countless children with countless women and set his progeny at each other's throats. To the bloody victor goes the ultimate spoils. I shivered as he looked me up and down, his eyes seeming to pierce my very soul. It was as if he was seeking to plant a murderous seed inside me, too. Absolutely not, you nasty man. When he handed me the dark blood staff, he told me that the woman who stole it for him has a lot of potential. His words. My purpose and lost seeds fulfilled, I hurried out of there. Can't wait to hand the staff over to Arcanet and let her handle the cathedral's sacred <sighs> Interesting. Man, like from the very beginning, Temenos was like, something's up. From the very, very beginning of his, his story, like with Roy and everything that happened. Ah. Oh. Woman who stole it for him has a lot of potential. That's mother, isn't it? Throne's mother. What is wrong with this game? <laughs> and I say that as a compliment. Almost. Dear Diary, today I met with Petrachor, the woman known as the Dark Hunter. I'd introduced her to Professor Harvey several years ago at Arcanet's request. She was talkative today and had this to say. Oh, okay, so Arcanet... Uh, Arcanet Cloud and Oboro seem to be like the people... Who have vague ideas about what's going on. Harvey is like someone they, they made a contract with. Yeah. 
I met Arcanet when I was young, and it was then that I swore myself to her service. Ever since, I have hunted for her and her alone, even slaying the legendary monster known as the Guardian of the First Flame at her behest. Guardian of the First Flame. Guardian of the First Flame. Hmm. I feel like I should know that. Sometimes I hunted people too, like the time I came to possess the Dark Blood Bow. Roy! Once again, my lady has use of me, and so I shall gladly obey. Arcanet is so good at manipulating people and making people think they need her. I nodded along, and when she was finished, she showed me a monster. This beast, which she had captured on Totohaha, looked out at me with eyes filled with loathing for all that walked on this earth. I asked her what it was, and she told me the result of years of brutal conditioning and a healthy dose of Harvey's science for good measure. The result, an abomination crafted through repeated and horrifying experiments. I nodded again. A soul this steeped in despair would surely prove to be a great source of power. It seems that leaving the flame of Totohaha in her, in her care should prove no issue. That's so sad. My gosh. So very sad. I do wonder, though... Um, oh my gosh, that was a lot of journal pages. I just want to make sure that we've gotten all of them, I think. Yeah, one is somewhere hidden in there. We have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Where's 14? Oh, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. Yeah, I... Man. I just... This is such an interesting story. Truly. I wonder what decision she made. So there's... I'm gonna go with this one. Alifan, the Scholar King. And that's probably the merchant, right? Ah, and then you... Yeah, build again. Um, I'll go ahead and do it for both again. Although it doesn't really matter. I think counts for both. <laughs> Man, so much destruction. Now what have we got here? That's my one question is I wonder if I had done this place before all the others for the Sacred Flame. I wonder if I would have still found this on the ground. Probably. But it would have been very interesting. It would have been a different take, I think. I wouldn't have been able to tell who the brother is. I think until we got to like the enemy king part, maybe? But even then, I wouldn't have known that Obero was Kazan. A sacred flame? Here of all places? Have I stumbled upon a scoop once again? Why, I believe I have. <laughs> I'm glad that's done. There's no need to keep up this cloying facade. To wear the mask of a chipper, unflappable scrivener. No. Now I bring an end to this dark, wretched world. To liberate its people from their pain, their suffering, and their hatred. Just like I swore to you, brother. Oh my gosh. Together, we will usher in the night. I kept a close eye on the travelers. All while my allies and I worked behind the scenes. Until at last, I found the book I sought. The Dark Blood Grimoire. With it. I will smother the sacred flames, but they will never again light the way for the dawn. I offer this gift of blood. May the flames turn cold and dark. Jeez. He's so young. This is all she's known. Mortals, 
gods. Who was it that drew the line between them? The blessed? The accursed? Us? Them? Articio. No! Would that we had never met. Please. You know, I don't know that Oboro would have wanted his own sister to sacrifice herself. It was very clear that he cared deeply about his sister. And I wonder if she was supposed to bring someone else as a sacrifice, much like, you know, Kazan used, I think, Ageha um, as a sacrifice. Maybe that's why she's saying I'm sorry, brother. The fourth sacred flame burns in you. The light of the sacred flame indicated the southeast direction. Hello, Banter. Maurice Fate. I'm so glad we had Partitio on the team. Ori. I heard from an apothecary in town. A woman was found collapsed near the sacred flame and brought there for treatment. Ah! <gasps> hmm? She had brown hair and wore a cap, much like a scrivener. After she gained consciousness, she simply vanished. That's Ori. It's gotta be. If that's true, then what saved her? It appears her wounds fell just short of being fatal. So, a wound is enough, as along with the curse, along with those words, to snuff out the sacred flame. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be a fatal move. It would explain why Ori was like, Harvey vanished. Now that means he's out there! Also, yeah, what saved Ori? My, my impression was that they sacrificed themselves so that, you know, the flame would be snuffed out. If that's not the case, or was it only Ori, in this case, who was, who was rescued? Forget about Harvey. She must have changed her mind, just in the nick of time. <gasps> oh, that's why she said, I'm sorry, brother, that's why. She saw the worth and walk in toward the dawn. Well, I can hazard a guess as to why she hesitated. I believe it was thoughts of you that saved her life. Me? And don't be ridiculous, like I'd have anything to do with that. Well, no matter. As long as she's alive, all's well. Just where did she want her off to? <laughs> I sure am lucky that you're around to cheer me up, eh? Our journey isn't over. You do well not to waste time in idle conversation. If you must talk, then perhaps a different topic of conversation would suffice. Oswald, thank you kindly. Oh, they're precious. All right, where's leading us? Oh, have I done this? I have not. Oh boy, howdy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we can do it, we can do it. No, it's totally fine. This is not like the final battle or anything, right? I hope not. If it is, I'm going to be incredibly unprepared, emotionally and otherwise. <gasps> all four corners of the sigil are all up. Nobody wants to talk about why the, the, the sky is dark all the time. Everybody's just fine with it. I think they are, regrettably. Yeah. I don't even know that there's anywhere we can go to find Ori. She was rescued. 
But she vanished, so there's no point in, like, checking her out. Or checking for her. Where? That is so freaking cool. Alright, I hate to deal with this, y'all. But, considering that we're coming up on an hour, and because I anticipate whatever this is it, whatever this is gonna be, taking a while, um, I think we should call it here. I'm so sorry! And then, next time, we will float on over to this point on the ocean and do our very best not to die, I guess. Baby steps. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be the plan. I don't know if I want to change my team up before then. I think I'm gonna replace Particia with someone else. thought he would get some XP, but I'm gonna be honest, um, nothing happened. So, we're gonna swap him out with, I don't know, maybe, maybe I need Throne. Maybe I need Hikari, you know? Hikari and Throne would actually be a good replacement, I think. Um, or even Temenos, actually. Yeah, well, we've got options, so we'll figure something out. But I think that'll be it for today. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.